Be calm. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the market. I want to talk about what's going on, the sell-off, and what to do, how to prepare for this, how to maintain your mindset um, as we see these kind of instances happening in the market. So that's what I want us to cover in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Uh, before we actually jump into what I really wanted to talk about today, guys, I've actually uh, gotten uh, some messages from some of you guys and I really appreciate it. Uh, com uh, no, there's people spamming uh, the comment section. Um, somebody out there pretending to be me, they have my picture, have my name, and responding to comments and asking you to come pay money to learn how to invest on WhatsApp or whatever. That's not me. If I respond to your comment, you're gonna see my name is gonna be highlighted. It's gonna have either a black circle around it or a blue uh, circle around it. So it's definitely gonna stand out for you to know that that's me. So any other comment that you see or any other response that you see asking you uh, to go somewhere else uh, beside YouTube, that's not me. I'm not gonna send you guys to go learn how to invest somewhere. If I have to do something like that, I'll make an announcement here on the channel so you guys know I'm just gonna be putting it in the comments. So um, if you guys see that those comments, you can spam them. I, I've spoken to YouTube and I've been deleting the comments and blocking those guys from the channel. They keep popping up, but again, um, that's something I just want to make sure that you guys are aware of. So I'm sorry about it. It's really beyond my control. These guys are probably using bots to you know, make this thing happen. But um, again, YouTube is doing their best. I'm doing my best. We just keep fighting. So let's talk about important things. The market is red. Um, a lot of you guys from sending me messages, Mr. V, what's going on? Is it a crash? Should I sell everything? So I want to do a video here that we're going to give you guys some context. And for starters, if you panic during this little period here yesterday and today, if you panic, that tells me you are a new investor. And that's okay. I would, I would expect that panic because when you see your money dropping like that, disappearing, it's no fun. Um, a lot of you guys actually started investing last year after the COVID crash. So if you were one of those people, you don't understand what a crash is, which means that all you've done is after the COVID crash, you've bought any stock that you bought kept going up and you thought that was investing. That's how the market works. Um, guys, you have to go through uh, at least crashes before you can really understand what I'm saying here. Um, like what happened back in 2008, even the COVID crash. Um, so this to me wasn't a crash. This is just a slight correction in the market. Um, I mean, it's expected. You see the ups and downs in the market. This was just that little slight co uh, correction. So don't panic. If you have positions that are long term, all you have to do is if you have any available cash, you have some liquidity, buy more for your long term positions because this, this tip was really good for some stocks. So I'll give you an example. Um, I see a company like Lucid going public with uh, CCIV as a great investment long term. So stock drops to $30. What do you do? Jump in and scoop more. But you know what happens, right? Most people still have the mentality of the stock market that when it's crashing, people want to sell and run instead of looking for opportunities. I've spoken about this on the channel a lot, guys. The stock market is the only place where when it, something is on sale, people run away. People want to like disappear, they don't even want to be there. So I want you to develop a mindset that when you see the market at this particular point pulling back, you look for great opportunities to jump in and out to your position. So take for instance, Tesla was under $700 at one point today. If you're somebody that's looking to get into Tesla, you can start looking at opening a position and start picking a few shares here and there and then average your way down if it keeps pulling down or average your way back up if it keeps going back up. So you have to have that mentality. Again, like I said, if you 
started investing last year after COVID, you probably don't understand this concept because you, you, you thought you were like Warren Buffett because anything you touch goes up and make profit. So now is time where you can actually see that pullback. And this is where people are going to go back again and start reading and then start using the tools that these platforms give us like trailing stops and stop losses to help you protect some of your gains. If you go into a position and you only swing trading, you don't plan on holding that stock uh, long term. As soon as you make some profit, guys, it's okay to pull some of that profit out, uh, invest in something else or even put a stop loss so that if the market starts to go south, you get out just like that and then you can take that money and then wait and look for the bottom even though nobody really knows where the bottom is but at least buy lower than you you had before so let's say you bought a stock at ten dollars it goes to twenty dollars and the market starts pulling back you sell at 18 if it drops back to ten dollars or down to eight dollars you can buy even more shares so that's just um the example that i wanted to give you guys i want you to have the mindset again of an investor and uh, if you're a trader this doesn't really bother you because um, your money sits there and wait. You look at opportunities today, either shorting or going long. But if you're an investor, you look at opportunities to buy what is on sale today. So I look at um, a company like Palantir, at one point today was on sale. It's like, wow, uh, CCIV was on sale. Wow, you look at those companies and jump and take advantage of those opportunities. So that's what I wanted to cover in this video. Basically, the mindset of an investor and the mindset of a trader. Um, traders, this is just fine. You don't have to worry about anything because you have your cash, you have your liquidity um, in hand. If you are an investor, you're looking for opportunities. I want you to be smart. I want you to think uh, long term. Don't worry about the pullback because I see people posting like, oh, I'm down 2K today. I'm down 3K today. That's cool. But when you were up 2K or 3K, you were just keeping that to yourself, not posting it, right? So you have to be able to adjust your mindset to that mentality that some days are going to be red, some days is going to be green, and some days it's just going to be even. You're not going to make any money that day. So it, that's just the way the market works. So you have to really train yourself to understand that and have that mindset. Draw the line mentally. What are you? Are you an investor? Again, investors are people that buy and hold long term. Or are you a trader? People that buy and sell either daily or weekly or maybe bi-weekly or monthly. Whichever one you do, are you a trader? And if you're a trader, then you have to have a mindset of getting out of position. So if you're swinging a position and you're a trader and that thing starts to pull back, your stop loss should kick in and get you out ASAP. That's just the way um, this whole thing should work. Again, guys, this is just my take. I want to make sure that I share that with you guys. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. This Is is this a, a crash to you or is just a pullback or just a slight correction? Okay, to me, I consider this just a slight correction. I think in the next week or two, we're going to get back to doing business as usual i could be wrong nobody has ever predicted the market exactly the way it's supposed to go so uh let me know again what you guys think if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content and also if you're looking to get started with investing Webo is a platform that I recommend. Links in the description below. When you sign up, deposit $100, you get some free stocks. And as always, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.